TBS News, I'm Rosine Park. The World Health Organization has warned that Omicron will not be the last coronavirus variant, and it's vital that vaccines are distributed more fairly around the world. Maria Van Kerkhove, a senior epidemiologist with the WHO, said she was enraged at the global failure to deliver vaccines at scale outside high-income countries. She said, however, it was still possible to meet the UN agency's target of 70 percent vaccination in every country by July this year. But that will only happen if countries allow and manufacturers allow countries to be able to purchase those doses. We will not be able to boost our way out of this pandemic. We need to increase vaccination among those most at risk in every single country and not just boost some people in some countries over and over and over again. A new coronavirus variant with 46 mutations has been found in southern France. Britain's Daily Mail has reported that scientists discovered 12 cases near Marseille on December 10th. The first case is said to be linked to travel to the African country of Cameroon. Dubbed B1642, it has yet to be detected in other countries, according to the report, and has not been labeled a variant under investigation by the WHO. South Korea has seen the number of critically ill COVID-19 patients drop below 1,000 for the first time in 15 days amidst tougher social distancing to contain a winter wave of infections. The Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency reported that there were 973 severely ill intensive care unit patients with coronavirus disease, down 42 from the previous day. Across the country, 3,024 new cases of the virus were confirmed, including 135 imported from abroad. Most of the domestic infections were from the capital region, with 903 from Seoul alone. The KDC also recorded 51 COVID-related fatalities in the latest 24-hour period. The government has extended the period of tougher social distancing rules, which include a four-person cap on private gatherings and a 9 p.m. business curfew on cafes and restaurants until January 16th. Meanwhile, thousands of small business business owners are planning to keep their lights on past curfew in a protest against the government's two-week extension of strict antivirus curbs. An association of small merchants said today that for a week they'll keep their signboards lit and leave the lights on in their establishments. The action will start at 9 p.m. Thursday, followed by a mass rally in Seoul on January 10th. In a statement, the group criticized the government for ignoring their situation and financial hardships by extending business restrictions rather than offering them proper compensation for damages they've incurred amid the ongoing pandemic. The defense ministry says that it's still waiting for a response from Pyongyang in regards to the border crossing of an unidentified person into North Korea over the weekend. The individual is presumed to be a North Korean man who defected to South Korea in November of 2020. Ministry spokesman Bu Sung Chan told reporters that two messages were sent to the North via the military's hotline on the West Coast on Sunday. He said the messages were received, but it has yet to hear back. That's all the news for now. You're listening to TBS EFM.